Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Uh, I know you've been waiting on this one. Um, but you have to understand, of course, uh, being UK-based, uh, when everything was going down between Geeks and Gamers and, and, and Zack Snyder, um, it was very, very late here. And then the fallout after the stream, I, I was, my phone was going away, you know, off the hook, and messages coming in left, right, and center, and... Uh, it's about 6 a.m. in the morning uh, when I eventually managed to to, to crawl into bed. Uh, immediately fell asleep. Uh, and I was up three hours later to watch the Zack Snyder's Justice League uh, four-hour cut. So that finished approximately an hour or so ago. I've sort of uh, freshened up and uh, tried to make myself look palatable. But it's time uh, to discuss it. It's time to get into it all. Uh, you may disagree with what I've got to say, but I've got to say, stay true to myself, okay? So, I don't know, you might agree, but I'm just, I'm just going to have to stay true to myself, okay? Uh, this week was always going to be a little bit hard for me. Um, this week marks the fourth anniversary of the passing of uh, my friend, uh, Frederick Dunstrad who um, was a World of Warcraft content creator with me and uh, a beautiful guy. Lost uh, his battle to cancer at 26, 27 years old. No age. And so I really wanted to keep busy this week and I have, you know, real BBC, hot toys. Tonight, I'm doing a stream with uh, Nick Ricada. Friday, Friday night tights. Um, and throughout that, been pushing the the Ocean Man single, which is raising money for charity, for this suicide prevention charity of Zack Snyder's. Because whether you uh, lose a battle to cancer or whether you lose uh, the battle against yourself, uh, loss is loss. And we all feel it. And it's nobody escapes it and it happens to everyone in life and it's a sad fact but it's a fact that we all have to uh, deal with at some point i want to start off by talking about geeks and gamers uh i have a tremendous amount of respect for jeremy I know we have that amazing ding dong argument, which I wiped the floor with him with. Don't worry about it, Jeremy. When I uh, was was relatively new to Friday Night Tights, but that was that was kind of I don't know, maybe a couple of bulls locking horns, and uh, we got what we needed to to say out. And uh, Jeremy and I were immediately okay. Uh, the the argument was the topic. The argument wasn't the personalities or the people. And uh, he is such a stand-up guy. He'll do anything for you. He really will. Well, maybe not a reach around. But he'll listen to you and he'll do his damnedest to help. You got a problem? Go to Jeremy. How can I help? What is it? I think he's a really, really good guy. He's put together a, a, a wonderful team of people at Geeks and Gamers. Truly has. Uh, you just... I mean, this is unfortunately a bit of a sad picture right now. But you just have to look at this. And I'll just get rid of myself for a second. This group... Jeremy, Krista, X-Ray Girl, Mark, Ryan, Young Ripper, Gary, of course... Ivan, Lethal, Uche, just a cross section, a cross section of um, the good people at Geeks and Gamers. Great, diverse group of voices and a great group of people. I don't have to categorize anyone other than people because that's what they are. They do so much good work. Somebody who isn't on here is Jay, uh, Drunk3PO. 
they do so much good work for charity uh they find bridges try and build bridges between content creators who don't necessarily agree with them or haven't necessarily agree with them and they try and find commonality which they did with star wars theory and what did they do with that did they exploit it did they go on the attack and go right let's get together and have a go at this that and the other or did they do what they actually did which was they combined their voices and they said let's make some money for charity and jay and jeremy and star wars theory made tens and tens of thousands of dollars for charity these are not the actions of bitter selfish hateful people these are the actions of people who are kind-hearted who uh, want to help who want to make a difference but heaven forbid they might just have an opinion they might just have an opinion which doesn't necessarily marry together with the studio opinion they just might have an opinion that might ruffle a few feathers because maybe it's a bit too close to the bone for them there's nothing wrong with having an opinion and jeremy's been attacked again and again and again and again and yeah sometimes he plays up on it why not why not but i am telling you right now that guy is fucking gold gold last night sorry i should have had a drink my mouth is parched last night broke my heart broke my heart i was so excited for the boys and the girls to uh to get zach on the stream to uh, raise money smash the total that they'd set themselves the target that they set themselves and uh do great things all in the name of bitter people who said the snyder cut doesn't exist bitter people who said if you think it does exist you're a fool and then bitter people when it was announced that said well it's just gonna be crap and shit and whatever they had to deal with so much hatred at every turning every corner and they stood resolute resolute and they turned it into something positive the message of justice league zack snyder's version is united together they all unite together at the end work as a cohesive team and win the day that's geeks and gamers they come together they work together and they do great stuff i'll hear no bad word no bad word i'm not saying i agree with everyone uche and i we've been ding donging for days days and yesterday i got dragged into something else but uche all credit to the man he said hey look i'm sorry i apologize i didn't it wasn't your business to get dragged into this and i dragged you in and i'm sorry it takes a big man to apologize it truly does to admit you're wrong to apologize 
takes a takes a real man and i could see the um enthusiasm uh and excitement on all these faces yesterday uh the first thing though that i did notice that was jeremy was absent from the stream and i was uh i was actually texting gary at the time i'll just be, i'll be honest completely honest here and i was just like gary i, I i'm i feel like i want to reach out to jeremy to say you're okay but uh, I, I you know i don't want it to come across as patronizing. are you okay you know but i was like why is jeremy not here you know he's been so pivotal and pivotal and putting this 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 charity stream together him and uche got to give uche a lot of credit and uche was i thought uche uh chaired the stream brilliantly i really did massive amounts of credit and respect for the man for it um he he he's, he had a great voice uh and it was so uh, interesting to to uh, listen to all of them getting excited before Zach came on to the actual stream. When Zach came on, something was said. Now, Krista, I'm uh, I'm going to nick your channel here, darling, if that's okay, because Krista, go and uh, drop her a subscription, folks. Let's put it across. There you go. Chris, Kristen over. Drop her a subscription, okay? Please. Thank you. She clipped the bit on the stream, which um, I ain't going to lie, just absolutely knocked the stuffing out of me. That's the moment. He is the one, the only. Zach. <laughs> <laughs> oh! There he is. <laughs> What's up, man? Hello. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. How you doing? How's everybody Good. doing? Good. 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 Uh, just, just a quick thing before we get started. I know that um, the on our on our um, donation page, we still have the Geeks and Gamers logo. I just want to say that I really um, we talked about this, and you know, we're really not affiliated with Geeks and Gamers as far as I'm concerned. And I really just want to make that clear. And I also want to just say, um, you know, in, in light of recent events, I think we really, you know, if Justice League teaches us anything, it's about coming together. And we, there's no room for hate. And uh, I just think that it's important. It's an important message. And, of course, as, you know, as um, the father of uh, Asian children, it, it really hits close to home for me. And I just, you know, I just really want to put that out there that we all, you know, there's no room for hate. And, and that's just what it's about. Absolutely. Let's jump back in. So that was that was the the moment uh which has got you know, I think understandably a lot of people upset. Like I said, when I heard that it completely knocked the wind out of me. Um you know, I've been I've been really excited pushing the single, uh raising money and for, and I don't regret for one moment um contributing to this cause at all because it's a wonderful cause uh but i had to try and work out in my head what i'd just heard because on first listening if you're not really switched into what's being said if you're kind of half listening or just sort of casually listening you have zack snyder distancing himself from geeks and gamers which first and foremost um it's geeks and gamers that that did this i know uche you know arranged a lot of it and uche is the person that had the contact with uh with zach and i know that they agreed to do it on on uche's channel um but this was very much you know there were jeremy and others behind the scenes uh, getting this together this was very much a geeks and gamers effort so to, to, to be told that you've been distanced from must have been so hard and and, and uh, it must have been really difficult for the, you know, Ryan Lethal there, uh, Steph, Mara Jade, um, to, uh, to listen to. 
and and Uche as well to hear that and then secondly a very clumsy statement which if you're not careful sounds like Zack Snyder is almost pushing geeks and gamers into the events of what happened in Atlanta in America a couple of days ago um but if you listen if you listen back to it I think you can clearly understand that they're they're two thoughts just really badly expressed really badly expressed now I'm going to go on some defense here of Zach and then I've got to say what I've got to say this guy was under incredible pressure by Warner Warner Brothers incredible pressure uh, and I think incredible pressure not to even do this. And during the start of the stream, Uche had to go and he he, he vanished for about half an hour because he said, oh, the phone's ringing. It's, it's Zach and it was Zach and it wasn't, uh, I think, by the sounds of it, a particularly pleasant uh, conversation. Uh, it seemed that Zach was getting absolutely hammered on email bombarded with emails about this association with geeks and gamers and this association with um the stream uh and also by warner brothers now uche later in the night let something out which he said he said he wouldn't say but he, he uche said it so i'm gonna say it and that is that uh, that uh, Zach had uh, had uh, filmed a cameo, a Green Lantern cameo, for his Justice League. And the studio said, "Get it out, get it out. If you don't get it out, you don't get your film." The studio system, literally putting the the thumb screws on. I am of the belief um that zach is uh really grateful to the snyder cut fans truly is i also am of the belief that as soon as warner brothers got involved you know um that's when things get exceedingly complicated But this is where I, I have to deviate now. Because I listen to everyone. I listen to everyone's arguments. I listen to from Uche to, to Young Ripper to Jeremy uh, to Lethal to, to Krista to uh, X Ray Gill. Everyone. I listen to what everyone had to say from Geeks and Gamers. And. I wanted to, to compile my own thoughts because I was very um, emotional about it as well for them. My heart was broken for them. I think if there's a true villain here, it's it's Warner Brothers. But with that said, you've got to have the courage of your own conviction. Geeks and gamers... They stood by. They did their damnedest to put this together. To, to raise a lot of money for a great cause. Don't let the cause suffer because of your, your personal thoughts about this. The cause is a great, great cause. And I'm sure that they would, they would do it all over again to raise the money for it. But people have got to make a stand would warner brothers if 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 zach said no i'm gonna go on and and these are the people that put it together i'm not gonna disassociate myself from them i'm not gonna distance myself from them would warner brothers say okay in in eight hours time your your premiere doesn't happen your zach snyder cut doesn't happen I don't think so. I don't think so. Would it potentially hit something later down the line? Very possibly. Very possibly. 
So was Zach looking at the future? You know, somebody who, who loves to make movies? Um, yeah. Did he toe the corporate line? Yeah. Was he under exceedingly large amounts of pressure? Yeah. We, we, we just have to look at what happened to Gina Carano. Gina Carano wasn't just fired. They tried to deperson her. They tried to make sure that Gina Carano never got a job in Hollywood again. They went full on blacklist and fuck Disney. They went full on blacklist with her. And Gina Carano has kept her head up and she's kept vocal. And she's just getting more and more and more support and the biggest the person who had the biggest balls again was gina carano incredible shouting out geeks and gamers just raised seventy five thousand dollars for suicide prevention awareness and a couple of weeks ago raised forty four thousand for human trafficking awareness truly making a difference for so many people in all walks of life well done to everyone involved keep going i'm not trying to trivialize anything okay i'm not trying to trivialize anything zach snyder he doesn't have to work another day in his life if he doesn't want if he doesn't want to okay if he had thrown his voice out there because i don't think zach um plays the political game at all and that's why some people have a go at him he's not a a massive uh, vocal uh, left lefty i don't even know what zach zach's politics are that's the way it should be that's the way it should be i don't know i don't know which way he leans it's not my business he shouldn't have to say anything about it but if he had held his ground here, he would have done so much more good because he would literally be supporting the people that were actually making a difference. Without Geeks and Gamers, without Release the Snyder Cut people, it never would have got made. It wouldn't have got made it was that effort and support and drive and movement and i know movement's a bit of a weird word to use but it was a bit of a movement that that people got behind to let the man make his vision not to tell him how to make it to let him finish what he started and then allow us to see and make our determinations about whether or not we felt his cut was better or joss whedon's cut was better and joss whedon's was shit and i and having seen the snyder cut i think it's great I truly do i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it It would have also have exposed the people who want to shut voices down because ultimately i think this is what it is i think warner brothers want to shut voices down youtubers guys who can sit in a room at home in my pokey little terraced house where well, I can't, I barely got room to swing a cat. We can come onto YouTube, we can say our piece, and people are coming and watching more and more and more and more. And channels like Geeks and Gamers grow, and Nerd Roddick goes, and Young Ripper grows, and I'm growing. I mean, unfortunately, outwards. But that's another thing for another time. But it would have been a voice to say, no, 
No, these are the people that made this happen. And look what they're doing. They're doing positive, proactive things. They're raising money for charity. Who isn't raising money for charity? Who isn't being positive? The people who decry them. The people are going, look at geeks and gamers. The people that attack Gina Carano. Hashtag fire Gina Carano. What are they doing? They're wasting their fucking lives. Wasting their lives. On social media. Just trying to tear shit down. While these guys are building stuff up. Building stuff up. Getting a great cause. Getting a great bunch of people together. Discussing their excitement and raising huge amounts of cash huge amounts of cash for so for all the pressure on zach i felt as if if he just held his ground one more one more yard because he has been pushing and he has according to Uche and I have no reason to doubt Uche whatsoever he has been fighting tooth and nail saying hey it's geeks and gamers it, that's put this stuff together the studio system doesn't care about that the studio system doesn't care about charity or suicide prevention or anything like that the, 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 the studio system is a selfish entity. And it's a jealous entity. And it's an entity that's jealous of voices. Look at, look at the, just look at the range of voices on that screen right now. They're scared of that. The studio system. Because they can't put it into a nice little box of toxic white males or toxic masculinity because there's too much legitimate organic diversity within it and that destroys a lot of the haters narratives let's get my ugly face back on here sorry I'm, sorry mara i apologize i keep having to cut you out of the screen there i don't want to go too harsh on that because i do think there are very complex circumstances going on here and i want to give massive credit to uche and lethal and ryan for showing so much class and composure and keeping a cool head and I've listened to what Young Ripper said, and I can't say that I disagree with anything Young Ripper said. Where he's been much more vocal uh, as regards to should have been called out. I hear you, and I, I, I can't say that he's saying anything wrong either. It's like there was one hurdle to go over, and if Zach had just jumped it instead of stopping... I think it it would have it would have been so much more of a, a a a win, and when I say a win, I don't mean a personal selfish win for geeks and gamers. I mean a win for acceptance of a loving fan base, an enthusiastic fan base, people who are legitimate supporters, people who, uh, like I said, they didn't. Don't want to tell him what to make. They just wanted him to have his fair shot at making it. So, uh, Jeremy, nothing but love. Uche, nothing but love. Ryan and the boys, the same. The same. God, I got tons of respect for you. You do, you do incredible uh, work. I'm proud and honored uh, to do Friday Night Tights alongside you. Uh, truly am 
and um I'm not associated with geeks and gamers. Hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and YouTube for live streaming. Links are in the description box down below. And I'll be back after I've had a really long, tall glass of cold water. Very soon. Uh, you take care. Bye for now.